Again, today, guys, Mr. Pete, Mr. Victor, Ryo, we're gonna do some banking. Not too deep today, maybe 300 feet max. Looking for the plum head, snappers, hoopers, anything we're taking. We're heading out right now. Have it, have it. Reach the spot, I'll drop down now. I keep down down already. Ryo, the big stuff. Oh. Banking looking for plum head. Feet, not so deep to start with today. Actually, very shallow compared to where we normally fish. I'll go take it. Lots of small bites here, guys. Lots of small bites. Hoping a bigger one come along. Mr. Keith might have a little grunt or a little. Salmon. <laughs> that is a small, that is big. A good sign, a good sign. We just have to find the model for that. We don't want no sign, we want fish. Nah, we get the, we get the correct color, the correct species. There's not the correct size. New tactics here guys, new tactics. Fish biting a little funny, so we go and try a funny tactic. Let's see if it works. Fish on. Yeah. Yeah. There's trial kind of. Uh huh. I see a man getting some strain here. Yeah. You did? I seen the face. No, no, I seen the face. I seen the face. <laughs> Mr. Keith finally on something good here so far. Is there small lings, small grunts. But you can tell from the look on his face. Something with weight. We hoping it's not a shark. Yeah, man. Wait, many boat. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Look at the size of that from the day. Wow, that's a big plumhead. That is a big plumhead. Hallelujah. Good fish. Well done, Mr. Keith. That's a big That is a plumhead. That is a plumhead. <laughs> that's any boat. <laughs> Mr. Keith, Mr. Keith, pull in line again. Open for our next big plum. Oh yes, we can get your Alma Cobra. Where you come from? <laughs> Start keep your catching them today, boy. That was you was a big one. That was you bite. Yeah, that must pull real hard. That must pull real hard. It tastes good too. As you can even catch a one was this one that and he ain't last half an hour. They eat them up.
fish are on your rod here guys, fish are on your rod. The feed is very big, but it's not enough. So I thought putting our rod from deep would be easier. It's not. Open his aplomb. Hey, you wrap up all over is that snapper? <laughs> Saki tapo one on the boat, eh? <laughs> Not as because yours but decent. Pull on head there fellas. Oh they want to move? <laughs> The only time we, we end up on top of the water. Not to see fish now biting. They are biting. I get some real biting. Fish real biting down there guys. Fish too <laughs> lingling. Didn't shoot on camera. Ryan catch one in front. But real plenty small bites. So the ling mixed with the grunt. Open for the snappers in between. Small bite one feeling decent could be a plum or a pigling see what it is 200 feet of water my pool is about four feet so 50 volts What is that boy? Merriam boy. Yeah. We catch a jack for you though. Big squirrel fish. Merriam. I got a bit famous that kid. And you know what he take, the artificial. Look, look. Got a good bit there too, huh, Mr. Victor? Got a bit there. Nah, he's going down with the head, hello. Eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I see the head with him, but I think it. <laughs> don't take it. I don't know if I take in anything. Double ling in front. Them fish and them tick down there. Eh? Take it. I take it in the head. <laughs> Change your tide this year guys, you can see the, how the water looks like that. Easy <laughs> link master boy. My line foot. Thank you. 
Shucks, it's supposed to wrap up. You want the jacks, you'll get it. Good, good. On the artificial. We're leaving fish guys, we're going to find bigger fish. Normally you don't leave fish to find fish, but we're going to look for bigger ones. Fish biting right through still here. Lot of ling ling. Grunt. Jacks. But we want a big fish. Big grouper, big snapper, even a big shark I'm taking today. Big grunt. Jack, where's the ling? What's a big grunt? One more bit to go. Ah, boy, you get a big ling. What? A First time I'm on, I am on to have a lucky sinker. Yeah. I never hear that before. <laughs> <laughs> I know lucky caster, lucky rod, I'm gonna have a lucky sinker. <laughs> Alright, guys, switching up from this line here, this little small line which is 100 punctus. We're going with this now. Monsters. I ain't gonna show you the other fella's line because it's still looking small compared to them. But we're looking for something big. I think that will be cooler. One fish. Yeah, can you feel old? Can you feel old down there? Eh? Yeah. No, no, but I can't. Them can't I put it on here. I put it on them for a bit. Alright guys, watch this bit here. Trying to get a great reef shark, which is a harvestable shark. You got a snatch? No current at all. It's like he told onto your line, you know. Well, that's a good sign. Any good fishes stop pulling in? Red boy, red. Bring him, boy, bring him, boy. <laughs> Nice fish, man, Mr. Victor. Very good, very good. That's what we like to see. He, he went down with a bit. Like your fish? Hey, you suck a bit, eh? Huh? Eh? Hey, you see? I can't believe it's my tiger like this. You just come, pop, pop, pop. No, they lay that you're good on the Sit down here. 
Nice fish boy. So we come for guys. Let me take up your bait. Mr. Victor, another potential redfish here. Tell me. Don't in front there. I catch a cavalier. You see, boy. I say, come on, I got a cavalier. Mhm. One big red fish in the boat. Catching salmon. Before I reach down in the back, he say, come back, come back and grab this other cavalier for me. Catch two in about five minutes, you know. Well. Nice man. Let's see what it is. Open to see the color red. What the hell is this, boy? <laughs> this man finding them, boy. Nice little two pounder. Have some steel jacks. Nice fish boy. So we have two there guys. Would it? <laughs> Mr. Keep no take a, a drop there. And fish on facial expression looking like it's a big one. <laughs> That fish was waiting for you, boy. You want to get? Tell him to put him Tell him to do one thing but bring the fish. Open there's another red fish here guys. Line literally no reach the bottom of the water. Yeah man. <laughs> what is this? Any biggest one yet? <laughs> this one is our boss. Look he come out. <laughs> Drop it back one time. One day I'm really I ain't lying. Yeah. But we see the, the fish, the line here reached down. <laughs> Look at the only bait still there. Yeah. I'm telling the line here is long. And the fish jump out for you to drop back down once. Yeah. <laughs> when a fish is for you, a fish is for you. I'm I taking out the tangle in the line. And I feel it pulling. <laughs> okay, get a bait, boy. <laughs> Calm down, calm down, inside already. Alright guys, not a bad catch at all. Couple of nice red fish. Alright guys, so I just came back from fishing, tired, went to the Mr. Keat, caught some nice fish, some plumhead, some ling ling, a couple red fish, and I'm hungry, I come home. So I'm gonna make a fish soup. Now the traditional fish brought with the provisions and all of things because I don't have time to get that hungry. So just making a quick fish soup using this plumhead right here or vermilion snapper. It's about a one pound fish. So it should be good enough for me and my wife tea. Quick soup. I have all the ingredients here, whoever have any fridge, I'm using only veggies. 
have some sweet pepper, tomato, onion, garlic, of course. I have a plantain which I love in soup, so I have a plantain of that, I have a carrot, and some okra. And to add to that, we have some pasta, whatever kind of pasta it is, and some frozen peas. We're going to make the soup with that. Seasoning all these veg ingredients, I have a soup. Hopefully, in about 15 to 20 minutes, we have everything done. So I'm going to show you how we get to get that now. Show you all the ingredients up close and make the soup. Plum head, frozen peas, forget to show you the green seasoning. Show you green seasoning, the pasta, a bit of butter. We have the plantain. Um, we have a knife, tomato, sweet pepper, onion, lime, carrot, some okra, um, pimento. Seasoning, we're just using garlic powder, or pepper seasoning, and we, of course we have the avocado oil to cook in. Let me get cooking, quick action. Alright, first thing we're going to do, take my fish, slice them in half, and season them lightly. Fresh as could be. Bring a couple of slits or holes on the sides. Pieces of fish. To that, we just want to add some all purpose seasoning. General salmon, this is your salt, everything for your fish. Both sides. Inside. This fish is super fresh, just caught not too long ago. And to that, we're going to add some green seasoning as well. Just shot of any Thai garlic. That. Just massage that in there. The seasoned fish, set it aside, cut up the other stuff, and get cooking. Tomato. Rough cutting everything, guys. Rough cutting. You know, time to be all fancy. Garlic. Okra. Be it. We just had the plants in the cut up, we'll cut up that after. There you get cooking. Hi guys, so in the pot, we just put in some avocado oil. The only oil I cook with is avocado oil. About two tablespoons or so. Get that. Yeah, heat it a little bit. Some water to hot by the time as well. So once that's heated, we're going to add our pimento, onion, and garlic. Quick mix. We're just letting this saute for a couple of minutes. So the onions are to turn a little translucent, a little brown. See the onions turn a little translucent, you're throwing your okra. Bring about half of your tomato. And after the nice and fried up, add now a piece of butter. So just add a little bit of the all purpose seasoning. Just add more in the end. Yeah, I some of that hot water. Let us cook for about let us cook for about a minute, couple it. 
It's not trouble with a minute. Looking pretty good. All those flavors would have come out into this little broth right here. We're gonna top up some more hot water and add the rest of the stuff. Cut up the plantain, have sweet pepper, put it in tomatoes, put in the end, the hot pepper, lime, let's eat it, and of course, the frozen peas, pasta. Alright, so we added the hot water to that. So it's about midway up in the pot now. We're gonna add the fish now. Wait for the last one. Of course, we're gonna add this seasoning. We're also adding a few grains of pasta. Try to get in the pot. Not too much. So, we're gonna cover this for like a couple of minutes and then we'll add the plantain and cook it out. Two minutes, this has been cooking with the fish in there. Gonna add all the rest of the stuff and cook it for the next 10 minutes. Peas are going one time too. Into the pot was the plantain. And it's not plantain in soup. Tomato. That's usually my veggies I have. I'm not sure if you ever see soup pepper in soup, but I go in there too. Pepper, I'm saying, not so we need the whole thing to steam. And I want a handful of this peas, I love peas too. Frozen, whatever frozen veggie you have it in there. Oh, that's nice addition. I'm trying a little bit of green season here as well. Down there. Yeah, up close look at it, check it out. So we cook this for 10 minutes and the soup basically done. Fish soup, fish veggie soup. Good to go. So it smells great, this is what it looks like after about 5 minutes. Everything coming together. Pretty good, pretty good. So about 5 minutes again, see fish done starting to mash up already. That fish is cooked real fast. Fresh fish. Five minutes second, this should be done. All right, guys, so this soup should be finished. It'll be half an hour from start to finish. Let's take a look. Oh, yeah. Veggie fish soup. Whatever, whatever ingredients you have, home. take a look closer. It. Check that out. Just before we finish, add a little bit of garlic powder. Or some more green seasoning. Fish soup without green seasoning or any soup without green seasoning. Makes sense. Let's get that in there. Can't turn it too much because the fish will mash up. Now I do is taste for salt. Use a little bit of salt, so we're going to put some of the of us. Just a little bit. Mix that in. Just to make sure your pasta is done. Yep, finished. Alright, so let's let this simmer down for like maybe a minute again soup is done easy like that catch the fish today come home quick soup put in half and all right done and enjoy this in real i look at it again snapper soup plum head soup vermilion snapper soup catch and cook good to go so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of post and fishing from fishing in the deep with mr keita and crew today catch it cook it we decided to eat it. 
Thanks to all for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Till the next one. Keep fishing. Keep cooking. Fish show. Was it the voice? Was it the fire burning in me? Middle of nowhere, but check out how much garbage on the ground here. Wow. Bottle, 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 bottle. Bottles, bottles, bottles. All up here. Quite on Shaka Shaka. Ah, boy.